So for the practical part um, of the video, we are going to look at um, the WinHex features. We are going to look at creating a disk image. Uh, we already discussed what a disk image is, restoring a disk image, um, how to examine files, um, the data interpreter, uh, gather free space, um, copying blocks and creating files, then exporting a file list. So with this, uh, with the background that we have given in the previous video, we are good to go and uh, start our practical on WinHex. So I will just um, start the application. And uh, remember, when starting, whenever you are using WinHex, remember administrator, because some of the features that WinHex has, um, they need administrator uh, privileges. So application is uh, open just now. Okay, I think it opened twice. So let me just wait for it. Okay, so our application is open. So the disk I am going to be creating an image for is um, a flash drive. Um, let's just go to it. This flash drive already, there is nothing in this uh flash drive the folder is empty so if we go back we go to tools open disk we select the the, the, the disk that we want to create the image for in this case it's uh, the flash disk we click OK Then already um, you find that I, I had created an image before, but I'll just go um, through to show you what the procedure is like. We go to file, we go to create image. Um, here we put um, a zero, then we click OK. We click OK. So we can see that uh, this process from my machine, um, it takes a lot of time. So prior to this recording, I had uh, done a, an, an image file already. So I will just terminate this and um, we will just go on to retrieve the image. So for this process, it was going to take about 39 minutes. So when it finishes, it will give you a, um, uh, some hash information for this file. So this is how you create the, um, an, image, uh, an image file, a disk image for the hard drive or the disk that you are, you are using. So secondly, we are going to see how we can uh, restore a disk image. So remember the file that I opened, um, it had nothing in it. The disk, the USB disk had nothing in it. So what you do is you need to select the disk. So we go to tools, open disk, and we click on the, 
flash disk and we click OK. So it shows us that uh, the medium is already opened. It means the U I, has, I have already opened the USB disk in this environment. So we click OK. Then I go to File. Okay, I select my hard disk and we can see that I already have, uh, there is a snapshot of my disk had, has been taken some eight hours ago. So the process that uh, we just aborted created uh, this uh, snapshot. So I'm not going to take a new one because it will take some time. So I'm going to click OK. So um what uh, do we want to recover? Um, something to take note for this uh, version of WinHex is an um, evaluation uh, version. So there is limited um, a number of, of, of um, bytes or size of information that can be retrieved at a time. So at a time, you can retrieve something like 200 uh, kilobytes. So what we're going to do is we are going to select on the file. Um, maybe let me just use this one on the file um, that I want to retrieve. Take, for example, uh, this one, and then I click on recover. Then um, uh, for some reason, this evaluation uh, copy will just allow me to, to save um, my recovery documents on the desktop. So um, it's saying overwrite files with identical names, which means if there was a file with the same name, it will be overwritten. So maybe before we go, let's look at the desktop and check if they, we have the same file. We do not have the same file called system um, volume information. So we want to recover it into the desktop. Here is the desktop uh, chosen. Let me click OK. Then uh, it's saying two files, uh, one directory, and one directory were copied. So we say, OK, they were 88 uh, bytes. So if we open here, we can see that it has got two files and um, it has got two files in one directory or in one folder. So let's go back to our desktop and check if we have that um, uh, file retrieved. So if we go back, the time on my watch is 1637 and this file has just been retrieved a minute ago. So it means we were successful in retrieving uh, some files from the deleted um, files that were deleted from the disk. So with this, we can go to the next uh, important feature of uh, WinHex, which is file examination. As you can see, uh, this is um, our um, landing page when we open any disk and the features that we can uh, see here we can see that um, take for example we have open a file we can see that for this um, particular file we have um, the hash value we have uh, the column offset and the row offset so what it basically means is that this is the beginning of the block for this file. So if I go back to the main disk and I want to segregate this particular um, file, it means I have to use, if there are sort of addresses, they, I have to use this offset. So this block of file occupies uh, 00102 FFC and we go down up to um, 1 dd um, um, uh, hexa f and uh, 4. So basically, 
you can um this is very important because you can use this to segregate some part of the file so this is how uh, our file is being um identified in hash file in hash format so we can see that if i come and change anything on this it also for this asker it's also changing if i change on the asker here it means um here also on the offsets is also changing so basically we can use a win hex um for getting a uh, file information or even editing the hash files for the hash numbers for our files then if we look closely we can see that here um we have this uh the file system volume information uh selected which means that um this is where this corresponding um hash this corresponding hash is um is so we can see that he, uh, we have only selected this part so this is the part that is corresponding to the particular file therefore it means that the whole disk is occupying from zero zero up to this the whole disk but for this particular this particular is occupying this part so if we look at this one it immediately goes to where it's occupying to where it's occupying so you can if we if we interchange we can see that even the hash numbers are changing and if we come here to the data interpreter the data print interpreter is also changing and this one is sort of a mapping uh, that tells us exactly uh, how to determine um, the value of a field particularly when the field spans more than one byte so if um, the data interpreter uh, window uh, as shown this is another another feature of the data interpreter as uh, shown it has 8 16 and 32 bit values starting from the byte location where the cursor is currently located so this is where the the cursor is located so this is the information we come here this is the information and so this is sort of a mapping um if you know about the x y coordinates so basically this is a mapping for the win hex and coming to the um, far right we can see that we have information for the disk we can see that uh, the free remember we emptied the disk before so the free space from the for the disk is 7.5 gig and its total capacity is 7.5 gig so this is important for a forensic um, investigator because it shows you um, how much uh, um, the disk uh, has of a uh, free space and used space and you can match it to whatever findings you have um, in the root directory in the um, hash numbers and uh, in the data interpreter so basically for this video uh, i think we are done let's meet in the next video thank you